So, uh, there's a story coming up, which Mike is going to talk about, or introduce at least, and it's about hackers getting better. I'm going to wear the title. Today's not so critical, I think. So I came, I came across this 2FA, obviously something that we talk about on the show a lot, an important you know, security step, a way to um, improve the not strength of your passwords, but to make your improve the strength of your security, I guess. Um, and so they talked about, I think the main point of this article was about breaching or compromising the, um, the, the key codes for, and hijacking that from the browser. I mentioned it to Peter. He said, oh, um, with SMS messaging, that's almost even worse. So my question probably for Peter and John is, well, if 2FA stops working, then what exactly is it that we're supposed to do? Uh, so can I just, save sorry, me. Mike, can I, can I just quickly for the people like, hi, Dad, uh, don't, maybe not familiar with that um, acronym. 2FA is two-factor authentication. John loves it when you do this, you, by the way. I know, I know. It's where you log in with like your password and then you have to kind of verify that it's really you by getting a code from SMS or some sort of authenticator app or something like that. Anyway, two factors to authenticate. If, if I cared about editing, I could put like a, the more you know rainbow. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. But it won't happen. Just imagine yeah. it on the screen. Um, or and for another, anybody in the UK, another... the more you know is a US <laughs> TV show, which uh, we didn't actually watch wow. that much, but I've seen it a lot on the internet. Wow. because And it's got this star that goes, the more you know, oh, or something dude. like that. Yeah. Well done. Peter. 2FA, also known as two-step verification, allowing you, mm -hmm. like Peter said, to sign in with a password and then a ever-revolving code that is linked to your phone. My, uh, John, um, I love your attempt, but I already covered that. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, but you did it your way. Yeah. And okay. I needed to do it in a good way. I mean, so, my no! way. <laughs> oh! Oh! Uh, All right. <laughs> um, so but... for people who don't know... <laughs> John has an ongoing gripe about how well Peter explains things and is trying to make a conscious effort to do more of that himself. <laughs> nice. Which I now apparently am in. That was meta. Also. That was meta. Yeah, that was nice. Okay. Yeah, that um, was pretty good, actually, Mike. Yeah. So if we can, let's just go back to this article. There's a couple of, right. I have a couple of issues with it. So one, it's one of those where it's like, hackers are getting better and better at defeating your 2FA. And it's like, no. Okay. Not, not really. Because hmm. it's not that they're getting better, right? Like we've been seeing phishing sites with 2FA prompts in, in, inserted into them forever. Like this is nothing new. If you get phished, go into your Gmail account or, or, or um, Outlook account, it's going to have this in there. It's going to say, can you log in with your password again? And then uh, it's going to say, what's your, what's your 2FA code? Just like it's literally going, it's just mirroring what's happening on the servers of Outlook or, or Microsoft or Google. Secondly, SMS 2FA is known to be a shit 2FA. Honestly, it's so bad that yeah. we shouldn't even be recommending it or offering it as a solution for people. Because in today's day and age, it is, it's, it's kind of insane that you don't have a smartphone capable of downloading Google Authenticator or any app-based 2FA. So that's that's number two. And then number three, it's not like I really despise this about phishing. Is, is this this is really wild up, John? Yeah, come on. Keep oh, going, man. oh, sorry. Um, no, no, no. Sorry. I, I don't find it to be an attack. Like this is not a hack. This isn't an exploit. This is this is people getting tricked. And sure, you could argue that social engineering or or phishing is a form of, I guess, an exploit because the human is the vulnerability. But it's not like this is even article worthy, in my opinion. The only thing they touch on that is kind of interesting is stealing cookies like Santa Claus on, on Christmas Eve and um, and the man in, man in the middle attack cookie hijacking, which is also, again, um, kind of irrelevant with secure connections with HTTPS. So I don't know. It just feels... Feels like this article came from bleeping computer when it didn't, or did it? Ooh, harsh words. Gizmodo, if you're watching. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the one that said John it. John has laid down the gauntlet right there. I'm just glad I'm not the one who said it. So uh, what's the problem with SMS? Like you, you said that before. Like what? Yeah. I know it's insecure. I know it's plain text. 
But no, you'd no, have no, to know that. I was that's logging in. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, that's, that's enough. Not the issue. Is, it, is, is that not enough anyway? But that's not even the issue. But Peter, it's totally offline. Correct. You'd, you'd have to know that I was doing that thing at that moment. Sending SMS. So here's the main issue is that cellular providers across the world, cellular providers do not take the necessary steps to secure your account from social engineering attacks. It is too simple to be able to call someone's a, cell, a cellular provider, pretend to be them, and have their number ported to a new SIM card. And it's still happening. There's reports every week of this happening because some poor dude, because he didn't know better or they didn't know better, decided to use SMS verification for, let's say, their Coinbase account, a Bitcoin and cryptocurrency trading platform, yeah, good one. Got it in yeah. there. Just yeah, I threw it in it. There. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they they the attacker pretends to be this person by getting various information about them where they live, their their social media profile, seeing if they have any dogs or siblings or or just getting general general uh supporting information about them, which is out there, public 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 knowledge, thanks to the pool fool poor, poor fool that's about to get uh hacked and says you know jumps through the what what street did you grow up on or what's your mother's maiden yeah. name or or whatever on the phone with a cellular provider cellular provider and so then in, in terms of the says, password, i lost my phone we, and we gonna, talked about just, okay. is it hacking with the password compromise whatever uh everything you laid out is true but it happens like the premise is a coordinated targeted attack no not really over a long period of time like somebody would have to get that information harvest that information from me over time i could get that information about you mike it would take me 10 minutes that's yeah. a guarantee and, it's and so, i wouldn't to do take that over my do... sms and be receiving no all no, no, no to SMS get that information to get that information i don't know how long the call would take it depends on yeah, how but long you're, have you're... To be on hold. okay we've talked about this before these play these people are are effectively standard workers right they have the standard issues that every other business have, and they employ minimum wage workers, and they do this yes. at scale. Data center, yeah. Or not yeah, data. they have Custom a whole tools. warehouse full of people who are collecting yeah. all this information all at the same time. Yeah. They collect, they buy data from these uh, totally innocent tracking companies, to, and then <clears throat> they put it all together. Well meaning. So they yes. know, you know, well, <laughs> well meaning is are they really? Are they? Are they? They're, they've got completely pure intentions. These data warehouses that are just like whatever no but you can um, get such details like what yeah. type of phone the person was connecting with because that's it's, like you said it's tracking it's there it's it's being reported that this is coming from the browser safari on a mobile phone so i now know that i have an iphone and when i'm calling in i'm when i'm calling in i can just say yeah i lost my phone i lost my iphone like it's just little details like this and there's a there's a very 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 well-known video of a penetration testing firm proving this, I think Motherboard did it. Um, Vice's Motherboard, the news, the the, the journalist site, um, the journalism site, news site, whatever you want to call Vice, I don't know. Yeah. And this lady, this social engineer, who's like the their the the penetration testing organized the security companies like token social engineer because one women are way more have a way bigger advantage at this than males. You don't expect a woman to be a, a social, you know, social engineering hacker. She calls it up and within minutes she's in. And all she had to do was play a noise of a baby crying. Now, obviously, yeah. this is a known method, but there's many different ways you could do this. You, yeah. could, you could play hospital noises. You could play, you could play, uh, I don't know, fire, you know, like so many different types of emergencies that are easily accessible on YouTube. Just tell hey, you right. So your your position is that SMS to to FA is n n completely useless and possibly even worse than useless because it gives people a false sense of security. Yeah, well, exactly right. Like it's it's kind of like, is it better to have it versus not having it at all? Probably. Yeah. Right. But it's, okay. but it's like like you said, it gives this false sense. Like no, but I have to FA. I should yeah. be okay. No, you, you won't. So if I, I have the choice, yeah. if I have the choice between if if my only choice for two FA is SMS, I should definitely do it. 
unfortunately, yeah. yes. as, a, as a blanket Sadly. statement, I should always look for 2FA. Yes. Yeah. If and, SMS and, is the only available choice, do that. And that is yours. Yeah. But if like it's email and SMS, do email. Right. Like email over SMS. Reason. Well, think about it. Some some Hot would then argue. Some would argue here that well, if my email gets compromised, then my yeah, you're fucked. Then you're like, <laughs> yeah. then that account is compromised automatically. If your email is compromised, you got way bigger problems than this one account. Hey, here's the problem: is that quite a few email accounts are protected by right. SMS two FA. Yeah. So. Uh, when you really want a targeted attack, you go after someone's email. And that's why, why a lot of the kind of SMS uh, 2FA uh, compromises that have been in the news have been via that method. Someone takes over their Gmail account or whatever, and then they get access to Absolutely all the other access. codes. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I the really thing worry is about... with an email account is you can always do the password reset thing as well. And that is rarely covered by the 2FA right. side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. God damn. So... Oof. Yeah, that was check a lot. Out. Didn't rob. Yeah, check that out. was a lot. Yeah, for sure. All right, so That's use it. 2FA. Press loosey goosey. SMS and... if you have to. Ideally, something else. Out. That's it. Uh, absolute last option for 2FA, but definitely have it if that's the only option. The best option would be, um, honestly, the best option is either like an RSA uh, device, which is a little, looks almost like a USB device nowadays, has a screen where it has. 2FA codes, two-step verification codes uh, revolving, or a YubiKey, um, a hardware device that you plug into your computer to do a second form of authentication. Now, we're not going to do that because we're all consumers. So application-based two-step uh, authentic authentication is the best way to secure your device. Peter is about to whoop out his YubiKey because he's... I don't have it with me. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, what YubiKey? Not yeah, there's I a lot of good keeping you safe a, there. A, a Nano Yubikia uh, in most. I don't have oh, it with cool. me. Yeah. Very, um, very, very cool. Yeah, very cool, very useful, very secure. Um, and that's the rant. I, 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 my voice is sore. My lungs hurt. Okay. This is what we always aim for. <laughs>